two roach stompers. Now, the jump is called a herky, not a jerky. <laughs> I know I'm hard on you girls, but I want you to know it's all out of love. <laughs> that is so sweet. Oh, we love you, too. Aww. Oh, precious, give the best hugs. <laughs> all that baby fat, you're just so soft and squishy. <laughs> Sometimes in this life, you can feel all by yourself. But I have a partner when I can't turn no one else. So don't isolate yourself when there's nobody Curl. <laughs> That's why you gotta wear a hat all the time. <laughs> but I just hope he's over that bad habit of inappropriate touching. Yeah, that was kind of Flexing the wave. How long has it been? <laughs> oh, forever, man. What's up, dog? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> see, you uh, haven't changed a bit. <laughs> no, it's nice to see you two are still tight. Oh, yeah, we're tighter than handcuffs on a rapper's wrist. <laughs> <laughs> And I see you, uh, you still singing any chance you get. Oh, I just pressed another album. I've got a bunch in my trunk. Ooh. <laughs> Do you guys remember the group we had back in high school? Remember? Man, I put it together. Midnight Gold. Yeah. <laughs> we were so cool with our name shaved in our head. <laughs> you know, they're hosting an open mic contest here. How about a reunion? Get the old group together. Me do an amateurish open mic contest? You know, all the old groups we competed against in high school are gonna be here. The Red Lights. No. Orange Thunder. What? The Butterscotch Boys. Butterscotch. Butterscotch. <laughs> Those chumps? Mm -hmm. I say we do this. Midnight Gold is about to go a side of gold. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> It's a bad sprain. Oh, God. You're out for the season. You're gonna have to pick a new team captain. But, but you need me to lead the team to victory. No, you need an ambulance to lead you to surgery. <laughs> now pick someone or I will. <laughs> All right. Um, I pick... I pick Brianna. Oh, <laughs> wait, hold up for a minute there. I thought she said Brianna. <laughs> <laughs> she did. Wow, Brianna. <laughs> Tiffany, are you sure? Well, yeah. Yeah, Brianna's got excellent leadership abilities, and the girls love her. She's <laughs> just an adorable little moppet. Then I guess it's you, Brianna. The first freshman to make captain since me. <laughs> Tiffy, I am your best friend. According to the cheer code, I should be captain. I'm sorry, Angie, but this has nothing to do with cheerleading. This is just plain old player hating. Now, Brianna flirted with my boyfriend, and she hustled her way onto this team, remember? Now, by making her captain, she'll mess up, and then I'll be rid of Miss Bree Bree once and for all. Brianna, you're team captain. I am so jealous. Girl, I can't believe it either. But trust me, I'm going to be way nicer than that skinny, stuck-up tootie wannabe. <laughs> Gig with 
with the band. Brian told me fools goes getting back together. <laughs> it's midnight goal and Brian is not here. <laughs> Yo, Flex, listen, I have a couple of ideas to help us win this contest. Oh, I'm already on it, dog. <laughs> Check this out, y'all. Let's do one of our old songs. Line up, line up, fellas. All right, all right. Uh, what are we singing? Our original cover to the classic, Tender Love. All <laughs> oh, right. What about something more current? You know, the crowd tends to like songs they can sing along to. Yeah. Hmm. Nah. Here I lay all alone, tossed and turning, longing for some of your tender love. It's almost four o'clock, and half the squad is not here. <laughs> what are you going to do about it? Nothing. See, Tiffany, your style is more like Bobby Knight. Loud, pushy, and punishable by law. <laughs> I'm more like Phil Jackson. Soft-spoken, smooth, and very well-dressed. <laughs> no, that's Tito Jackson. <laughs> Okay, come on. All right. Hustle. Five, six, seven, eight. H, 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 U, S, T, 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 L, E. H, U, S, T, L, E. Hustle, guys. Hustle. <laughs> What's up? We don't feel like practicing today. We're going to the mall. The mall? Oh, um, no. Okay, that's cool. Cool. Good idea. Um, get your cardio. Oh, bring me back a set of bun. <laughs> Looks like the captain job is a little more than you bargained for, huh, Freshie? running late, why don't you sing lead until he gets here? Uh, I don't know, fellas. <laughs> I'm kind of shy, but... you from singing lead. Hello. <laughs> hey, guys, I'm sorry I'm late. Uh, something came up at the station, but thanks for covering for me. But uh, I see you guys are all warmed up, so let's really rehearse. Come on. Uh, uh, Flex, well, what do you think about Dwayne on lead vocals? Nah. <laughs> well, I think I speak for everyone here when I say we'd rather have Dwayne sing lead. Nah. <laughs> You know, now, you know, he doesn't speak for me. I'm very happy here in the background, just... <laughs> Come on, D, you're a great front man. You're a natural. Hey, hey, Howard Hewitt, I'm the leader of this group. <laughs> Come on now, Flex, Flex is right. Let him, let him sing lead. But you're better than him. Oh, ooh, no, 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 <laughs> just, uh, just different. <laughs> yeah, I'm Michael, he's Jermaine. Sometimes I'm Janet, but never Latoya. <laughs> First of all, I'm the one who created this group, and I'm Michael. <laughs> you know, the real reason we broke up in high school is because we all thought Dwayne should sing lead. Mm hmm <laughs> I say we take a vote. Who wants Dwayne to be our front man? Oh, that's three to two, Flex. Well, that's just three, because Dwayne and I quit. Right, D? Come on. Uh, yeah, Dwayne. Are you sure you want to do that? Uh, no. What do you mean you say no? You're supposed to be my boy. You're supposed to always have my back. But instead of Dwayne being back there, oh, what's that? 
A big fat knife. <laughs> Man, you're supposed to be my boy and have my back. But my back's getting kind of cold because no one's ever back there. <laughs> you know, you guys work this out. Give us a call when you're ready to practice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Man, I can't believe you play me like this. Have you forgotten the neighborhood code? Flex is always right. <laughs> Man. Man, you were standing right there when they asked me to sing lead. I was just as surprised as you were. Yeah, but you had the opportunity to say no, but instead you said, he's Jermaine, I'm Michael, I'm sometimes Janet, but never the toy. <laughs> Man, what? What, you just want me to fade into the background like I've been doing all my life. Fading for my father. Fading for my uncle. Girl, child ain't safe in a house of men. <laughs> Every time your feelings get hurt, you go quoting some movie line. Man, I've been two steps behind you all my life. That's because you always needed me in front of you, defending you. How many times did I keep you from getting your butt kicked? Man, I never asked you to. It just made sense. I mean, you had that mutant growth spurt at 13, <laughs> and I stayed at a more sensible height. <laughs> the point is that you're just mad because I'm good at singing lead. And I'm not stepping down. Well, you know what? You can step by yourself. Because we're no longer friends, and you're fine as Brianna's godfather. <laughs> Until you do right by me, everything you even think about is going to crumble. Well, since we're quoting movie lines, Fredo, you're dead to me. Yeah, yeah, huh? What, what, uh huh? Uh, take that. Sh shut up. What? Does it hurt? Does it hurt? You want some of this, Dwayne? How about this? What's up? Huh, Dwayne? Get up, shorty. Huh? Dad, can I talk to you? They made me captain of the cheerleaders, and they're not respecting me. You want to know about respect, huh? <laughs> respect ain't earned. You got to go out there, and you got to take it. <laughs> Learn from the greats. Attila the Hun. Uh, Genghis Khan, Tanya Harding. Uh, you, you know what? Forget about all my problems, okay? Because yours are obviously much bigger, all right? <laughs> Come have a seat. Tell Bree Bree all about it. Excuse me. Uh, that might have been Dwayne on the phone. He left five messages. I told you never to speak that name in this house. <laughs> I'm surprised you would let something as minor as singing lead for some old tired group come between you and he whose name shall not be spoken. <laughs> You're being petty. I am not. You know what, father? <laughs> Once in the fourth grade, my friend Dolly was a seat wetter. And once she sat in my seat and then didn't tell anybody. And then I sat in the same seat, and everybody thought it was me. And they all started calling me Brianna, Piana. <laughs> the point is, Dwayne wouldn't pee on your seat. You know. I see someone wasn't in the sixth grade with Dwayne. You know. <laughs> Gee, looks like you're the captain of a big old nothing. <laughs> You know what? You just feel mad at me because your boyfriend likes me. Like I said before, I can't turn all this off, okay? Now watch me work. Uh, excuse me. You all are 20 minutes late. That's five demerits. Now drop and give me 10. Oh, I know the freshie isn't telling me to do something. Do it before I poke out your eyes and roll up like dice! <laughs> You're tougher than I thought. Yeah, well, I decided I need to be more like you. Yes, yes, like a professional. <laughs> no, no, like a witch. <laughs>
here, man. man. I checked around. I called two priests, a nun, and a street preacher. Only God can fire me as Brianna's godfather. <laughs> you here to apologize. Just hurry up. Look, man, I've been trying to talk to you for days. You don't take my calls. You don't return my emails. You're worse than half the women I try to go out with. Yeah, and you better stop showing up at my job, too. And what is with that shirt? Man. Oh, oh. Look, man, since you're already here, why don't you just say what you got to say, man? Look, we've been friends for years. And in all that time, it's always been Flex and Dwayne, never Dwayne and Flex. It's cold here in your shadow. I just want my chance to shine. Then what movie is that from? It's a loose interpretation from Beaches, but that's not the point. <laughs> the point is this. I've been your friend for as long as I can remember. And I sure hope our friendship isn't based on you always being in the spotlight and me always drifting somewhere in the background. That's from Yentl. <laughs> tonight, there are only two awards that can be handed out. Second place, and the spot in the Maryland State Championship goes to McKinley High! <laughs> this is amazing! I worked really, really hard for this. They have to. You don't deserve it. Yes, we do. It was a team effort. My team, my trophy. Give me the trophy. Oh, oh. 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 Why? Why? Because God don't like ugly. <laughs> Pizza? Your drink? Uh-huh. Let's run. <laughs> really crowded. Stop looking. Flex isn't coming. But just go out there and sing your heart out, man. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for me. Night, go! Sing lead, I got your back. Just look in 
They deserve to win. Yeah. I like that background singer. She's kind of cute. Now, I like the lead singer. She's kind of tight with hers. I love her smile. I really do. <laughs> Your eyes are like two arrows, and my heart is your bullseye. Oh, you like my robin in the hood. <laughs> oh, look at that. You are two people. What do you want, Arnez? Well, for one, to be able to walk down this hall without losing my lunch. Oh, speaking of Upchuck, where's Ginger? I don't know. I'm my own man. <clears throat> Try it on sometime. And Brianna, aren't you supposed to be at cheerleading practice? I'm going. I'm going. Mm. I'll miss you. I'll miss you more. Get that out of here. <laughs> hey, wait. Um, uh, excuse, excuse me, where y'all going? We're supposed to have practice. We did, Captain No Show. <laughs> where have you been? This is the third time this week I've had to fill in for you as captain. I can't keep it up. The seniors can smell the fear on me. <laughs> I'm sorry, girl. I was just hanging out with Josh. You know what? You two spend way too much time together. No, we don't. No. You just you said what I said. Jinx, you owe me a kiss. kiss. You don't want <laughs> Oh, please. Sometimes in the slide, you can feel all by yourself. Check, one, two. But I have a partner, but I can't turn no one else. Uh -huh. So don't isolate yourself when there's nobody around. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Ooh. I'll be there. You're the fool, all right? Because even Moses had to pay taxes. Why do you think you left Egypt? I can think of 10 good reasons why. <laughs> all I'm saying is, Uncle Sam ain't no kin to me. My uncle is a black man and a much better dresser. Hey, man, the only way a free society runs is if we all pay our taxes. Mm -hmm. But what are you guys complaining about? I pay more taxes than you guys bring home all year. <laughs> hey, man, I, I got an alarm system. <laughs> Thanks for coming. We appreciate your business. Thank you. All right. Hey, Flex. Nice of you to watch the child for your dad while he took your mom away for their anniversary. What can I say? I'm a good son. Mm-hmm. Forget to get them a gift. And that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Flex, man, I think it's sweet that your pops are taking your mom away for a nice little romantic getaway. Man, he's a lucky man. Your mom has a remarkable lack of cellulite for a mature woman. <laughs> You better take that back. Oh, my bad, dog. Your uh, mama's thighs look like she's sat in gravel. Thank you. Thanks for coming, Mr. Parsons. Have a good weekend. Okay. All right, Mr. Parsons. Good to see you. Come yeah. back in here. Bye, guys. All right, now Bye. take care. Why'd you let that freeloader leave without paying? Your dad lets him slide because he's on a fixed income. That's no way to run a business. You gotta be tough, like Martha Stewart. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, she may be a criminal, but that woman worked hard to turn a profit. So what would you know about working hard, Mr. Uptown? <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what's that supposed to mean? Well, I mean, I'm just saying. You may know how to apply your blush for the camera, but this is a real business, not show business. Ain't no uh, cue cards up in here. <laughs> <laughs> where's my line? Where's my line? <laughs> See, I can run this business. I went to college. Oh. oh. He went to college. Make him president. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't worry about it, Flex. I got your back. You know, I'll make you look good in front of your dad, but as senior barber, I'll really be running things. You? Do I have to remind you that this place used to be called Richard and Sons, not Richard and some brother named Malik? <laughs> uh, so let me get this straight. You're gonna drive your fancy car down here. You know we don't have ballet, right? <laughs> and, and you're gonna get your hands dirty doing some real work. Yo, Fleck, I don't think you know how hard it is to do what we do. <laughs> Too. Pumpkin? <laughs> Spirit, what are you 
doing here? Uh, we were supposed to work on cheers. You do remember cheerleading, right? You know, the short skirts, tight sweaters, female objectification. <laughs> Go team. <laughs> okay, you know there is such a thing as too much practice, right? Oh, well, then your lips must be ready to turn pro. Oh, Brianna. My lips are cold. Ah, Spirit. Hey, didn't know we were expecting you. Oh, well, I didn't know we were expecting you, but if you hook us up with a slice and some of that Sididi soda, we'll be cool again. Uh, okay. Well, maybe you should get yourself a plate so you don't get your hands greasy on the way home. Cut it out. <laughs> oh, you put all the pepperoni into the shape of a heart. Oh, and I burnt my finger on each one. You, you know I'm losing my appetite. Right? <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna just take a piece to go. B bye. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> and that too, okay? All right. Three character, five, five over two, five, six. Look at him. It's college boy, came count. <laughs> you know what this is? It's a conspiracy against the black man. White man always trying to keep us down. Uh, Malik, he's, uh... He's black, man. <laughs> That's what we've been led to believe. But who's to say he's not just a very sophisticated hologram? They came up with a lot of stuff in Desert Storm. You have tripped right off the edge of crazy. Now, Flex has always been fair, and I will stand by him to the end. I don't believe this. This cash register is as empty as your heads. Ah, the end is near. <laughs> Can anybody tell me how we managed to pay rent around here when we've only cleared $200 today? $200? Oh, <laughs> it's miller time. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hey, everybody. Hey, you guys know that sub shop that used to be the video store before it used to be the police station? <clears throat> well, it's a barbershop now. <laughs> Slow fade. They take your time so you can look fine. You hear that, people? Now, we need to step up our game. Ooh, I'm saying you need to jump up your game. They even got a guy who just opens the door for you. <laughs> I walk by three times just to mess with them. <laughs> you know what? We need to stand up to slow fade quickly. We need to show them who controls Baltimore's hair. Now, come on, who's with me? All right, let me restate that. Who wants to keep their job so they can pay their rent and not live in bum town? Where are we? We're with you. Well, I can't hear you. What you say? We're with, with you. See, that's what I'm talking about. Now we're a team. A team that's going to take fatheads into the 22nd century. Of course, we have to make a few changes. What kind of change? Little itty bitty ones. <laughs> Rule number one you must wear the uniforms, love them. No more baggy clothes and no more jeans. No more self-respect, either. Rule number two, no fraternizing with the customers. You are here to cut and snip, not chat and chit, which means no more conspiracy theories, no OJ updates, and above all, leave poor Michael Jackson alone. His nose or lack thereof is his business. Come on, Flex. Mixing it up with the customers is the foundation of the barbershop. This is no longer a barbershop. This is no longer fatheads. This is Chez Fate, a style chalet. Say it with me. Chez Fate, a style chalet. Uh, excuse my ignorance, Mr. Boss Man, but uh, what exactly is a style chalet? Uh, it's a vision I had while eating French fries. <laughs> a place where you can go for a haircut and feel like you're going on vacation. Hey, Mr. Parsons. <laughs> Which leads us to rule number three. No more free haircuts. <laughs> now, why'd you go and do that? We can't have unsavory types up in here. It might alienate our clientele. Mr. Parsons is not unsavory. Flex, you can't keep doing this. You want to put us out of business? No, I want to put us in business. Yeah, well, I think your ideas are whack. And so would your father. Look, Richard may be a lot of things, but he'd never have us looking like Team Boy ID. <laughs> Look, it's very simple, Malik. I make all the decisions around here. Is that so? Oh, that's very so. And if you don't like it, it's my way or the highway. Are you firing me? Call it what you like, Monsieur Malik. <laughs> but just get to driving. <gasps> oh, sacre bleu! 
Anybody else want to get in the carpool lane with Malik? <laughs> Shows how much he know. Malik don't have a car. <laughs> people down if you have to. Okay. <laughs> Do you even cure yourself anymore? Ernest, don't be jealous. Green is not a good color on you. It makes you look jealous. First off, I'm not jealous. I have a girlfriend, but I still make the time to run with my boys. Yeah. Run with your boys? Who are you, DMX? <laughs> Who are you? You're ignoring everybody these days? It's like you're in a cult, like Joshontology. <laughs> you're a Trekkie. Live long and get lost. Bree, bad news. Oh no, Matt Damon called. He wants his everything back. <laughs> My dad just called. My grandma broke her hip open in a jar of pickles. We gotta go to Pittsburgh to help her. Wait, you're leaving? For how long? For two days. But I promise I'll call you every five minutes. Every four on nights and weekends. Anyways, my dad's out front. I'll miss you. Me too. You look like you could use a shoulder to cry on. Uh-huh. Tough. <clears throat> I gotta say, young lady, with that new dude of yours, Halle Berry better move her narrow behind over because there's a new Bond girl in town. <laughs> oh, why, thank you, flat ass. <laughs> Ah, another satisfied customer. Pretty soon, slow fade's gonna just fade away. <laughs> I'm a genius. You genius. You've got toilet paper under your shoe, college boy. <laughs> Man, Flex, this is starting to get dangerous. A few minutes ago, a bitter wind kicked up and I was airborne for half a block. Man, when I landed, three guys tried to beat me up. Man, I don't think I want to wear the beret anymore. It's trade bad, Flex. People don't like the French. <laughs> with, with all the money we're making, I'll buy you a helmet. Well, Flex, it's not about the beret bangers, man. It's about the barbershop. I, I miss it. We all miss it. Yeah, we I really do. It. I mean, it's a silence, silence, you fools. Cha -cha -cha -cha. <laughs> we're doing good business. We rang up almost $1,000 in one day. That feels good, doesn't it, Candy? Candy? Oh, <laughs> I didn't know I was allowed to talk. Man, this place used to be fun. Now it's like an old folks' home. Without the faint smell of cabbage. Fun? You know what's fun? Huh? Hey, what fun is? Fun is proving all of you who thought I couldn't run this business wrong. But I'm a big enough man not to rub it in your face. I rub it in mine. <laughs> you were right, bless you. <laughs> owns the world, she thinks she's the one spinning it right on the tip of her day glow acrylic. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 hey y'all. Uh, who who y'all talking about? Don't worry about it. You haven't met her yet. Oh. Ooh, French fry. Anyway, so Lynn told me that Jasmine told her that Frank said it's infected. I told her not to get that belly button ring. Okay, so why does Crystal have Ricky's name tattooed on her ankle? Once they break up, that girl's in boots for life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, who's Crystal? Um, the new girl, transferring from South High, threw up at Stan's party. <laughs> okay, well, I got it. <laughs> Scoot over, scoot over. <laughs> so, um, uh, Stan had a party? Yeah, last week. Ja Rule came by and signed autographs. Check it out. Ooh, Brandy, you haven't bathed in a week? <laughs> None of us have. <laughs> See? <laughs> yeah! Stan throws great parties. <laughs> Wait, who's Stan? Hey, y'all. Hey, Mike. Well, hey. look who's here to beg for his job back. Man, I do not need your job. I am working at Slow Fade, where they treat the barber as an artiste. And if I had a car, I'd have my own parking space. <laughs> what do you want, Malik? I just stop by to pick up my final check. Oh, well, look what I have here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, whoa, whoa. this is a laundry fee. That's right. You think towels and smocks just wash themselves? <laughs> a disposal fee? You think hair just throws itself away? <laughs> a termination fee? People just don't fire themselves. 
Flex, your pops will never treat us like this. Is that so? Yeah, you know what? This is whack. Malik, they hiring over at Slow Fate? Yeah, are they? I don't know, but I can put in a good word for y'all. Candy, let's go. Let's go. Let's roll. Fine. Yeah. You can roll, you can rock, you can hip, you can hop. I don't care what you do, just leave. I don't need y'all. So, uh, what you gonna do now, Flex? Hair doesn't just cut itself. <laughs> Hey, Brianna. Got you a bucket, too, huh? Your day must have been as tough as mine. What's wrong? Nothing. Baby, you got four biscuits. It must have been tough. No one likes me anymore. You know what? What's the name of my imaginary friend when I was a kid? I need to give her a call. What do you mean no one likes you anymore? All my friends are gone. They all abandoned me, even spirit. Even ate all the french fries. Oh, sweetie, da daddy'll get you some more fries. It's not just that. It's I've lost touch. I'm so out of the loop. I used to be the loop. Come on now. Did your friends abandon you, or did you abandon your friends? Okay, so I spent a little time with Josh, missed a couple of social events, and I'm the only one who's bathed. <laughs> daddy, what am I gonna do? Well, keep bathing. Uh, sweetie, let me tell you a little story. Uh, once upon a time, there was a young boy about your age who was madly head over heels in love with the neighborhood girl named Nicole. Let me guess, Daddy. Was that little boy you? Very good, honey. <laughs> I'm lonely, not done. <laughs> anyway, I was so in love with your mom that my best friend Dwayne wanted to go to the roller rink and I couldn't go because I was too busy taking your mother to the movies. And then when he broke his arm and was in the hospital, I didn't go see him because I was with your mom getting matching jerry curls. <laughs> and after all this time, your mother and I divorced and Dwayne is still in my life. Do you see where I'm trying to go with this? No matter how badly you treat Dwayne, you can't shake him? <laughs> well, there's that. But more importantly, sweetie, boyfriends and girlfriends, they come and go. But good friends, good friends, are forever. Daddy, I didn't mean to diss them. I guess I didn't realize how much I needed them till they were gone. I guess I have some apologizing to do. You know what? So do I. Are you sure you bathed? Daddy! Oh, I'm thinking you smell like... I did! Like... Lex, we need to talk. I think you should turn the shop back. I'm way ahead of you, D. Aw, oh, Grease Lightning, Flex. You stole my thunder. Man, what are you talking about? Well, I was gonna tell you that you need to change it back. I had a whole big speech planned and everything. Was it about how foolish I was and how I didn't appreciate the friendships I had here and, and the importance that the barbershop had to the community. Man, there you go again. Matt, did you take a peek at my laptop? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I did. Hey, Mr. Parsons, come on in. Well, I'm glad to see things are starting to get back to normal. <laughs> now, what you need to do, you need to hire back Candy. I'm a little scared. Hey, Dwayne. Listen, I have no money. Oh, man, you did look at my laptop. <laughs> did you tell anybody about my Britney Spears screensaver? I'm gonna kill you. Flex, I was telling them in the back. Flat taxes across the board, that's the way it should be done. Y'all, like I said, taking 17% from a millionaire is not the same as taking 17% from my salary. Like, that's just not fair. What you need to do, all is declare yourself an illegal alien. Something exotic, like you're Cuban Chinese. Malik, that's just stupid. Candy, why I got to be stupid? Stupid? Who you calling stupid? Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, hey, no, not, you know what I'm saying? You're not trying to tell me that I'm stupid. I like this sound, man. The sound of the barbershop. Man, I was gonna say that. I need to change my pen number, because you're all in my face. <laughs> Wait, I need to talk to you. Oh, can I wait till tomorrow? Me and some of the girls are gonna go to the mall. Well, were you gonna ask me to go? Oh, Josh must still be out of town. Come on, let's go. Spirit, <laughs> wait. Look, I think that you were right. Maybe I do spend a little too much time with Josh. You don't say. 
Come on, girl. I'm trying to apologize here. My relationship with Josh has not only caused me to lose focus in cheerleading, but as a friend of you, too. So, I'm sorry. I understand. You're my girl. I knew you'd come back. Let's go get an orange Julie. Cool. <laughs> Rihanna, I've been looking for you. Hey. I'm back. And it's ladies' night at the Bolorama. Ladies' bowl free. And I got my mom's wig. <laughs> Wait, but maybe some other time. Look, Josh, I know this is going to be hard, and please don't take this the wrong way, but tonight I'm going to the mall with my girls. Okay. <laughs> Wait, that was a little too easy. I'm about to go have a talk with him. <laughs> After the mall. <laughs> Great idea, Brianna. <laughs> Let's go to a party, you said. It'll be fun, you said. It'll be at a graveyard, you didn't say. Since we all might die out here, maybe we should make out. <laughs> Nobody's gonna die out here. My dad's gonna be here in a few minutes. Yeah, but how do you know he's not gonna kill us for sneaking out to this party? My dad's not gonna kill us. He was glad I called him. He and I have a no questions asked policy. He'll come pick me up anytime I'm in trouble. No questions asked. Your dad is amazing. Did he adopt me? No, then that would make you my brother, and that would put us in Greg and Marsha Brady land. <laughs> and we don't need that, okay? Don't worry, kids. I won't tell your parents. You should have just left me out there to die, because when I get home, my parents are going to kill me. My mom won't even notice. She's been so depressed since the divorce, she sits around all day with her friend Jack. Daniels. <laughs> They're getting off Scott Free. I came along for the beating. Where's the beating? You know I don't believe in that. I'm just glad she knows she can call me when she's in trouble. And her safety is all that matters. Oh, I love you, Daddy. I love you too, Bree <laughs> Oh, this is making me sick. <laughs> Parenting isn't about love, it's about discipline. My mama beat me each and every time I stepped out of line, and I turned out fine. <laughs> Whatever, Dwayne. Mama, no! <laughs> Right next to the can and give me back my spare key, you freeloader. Uh, hey, Daddy, I'm about to go to the mall with Spirit and probably pick up some ice and so I'll be home around 9-ish. Ooh, ooh, on a school night? Uh, I'm thinking no-ish. Tell her, Flash. <laughs> uh, don't you have a book report due tomorrow? Hence the ice mochas. The caffeine will help me stay up late, watch the movie, and crank out the perfect book report. No, have two mochas and read the book. <laughs> OK, Daddy, see you later. Right. Oh, uh, uh, your friend Amanda called. Oh. What's with the face? I thought that was one of your girls. She was, but now she's smoking cigarettes and she thinks she's all cool. And like you told me, secondhand smoke will kill you. And not to mention, my clothes are too cute to be smelling like Grandpa's couch. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hi, Daddy. See, that, that's my girl. See, most parents can't get that message through to their kids. But because I treat her like a friend, it sunk in. She's still running around like a wild child on a weeknight, all hopped up on mochas. I'm worried about her flex. That mocha is a gateway beverage. Next thing you know, she's gonna be hitting those lattes, selling your BCR for a pound of that Jamaica's finest. But that Blue Mountain Roast, you, you can't kick that. Dwayne, if you had a child or a father, you, my bad, you'd understand my unique parenting style. See, I provide a haven, a safe place where Brianna can come with her problems and all her anxieties and won't be judged. It's, it's a teenager's utopia. A flextopia, if you will. Oh, yeah, flextopia. <laughs> Where minors check in and convicts check out. <laughs> Doug, I'm starting a new school of parenting, okay? A school of tolerance and understanding. And if I'm reasonable, I won't push her away. See, the closer I am to her, the easier it is for me to protect her. Man, that's brilliant. 
I should write a book. Oh, yeah. And if Brianna makes it through high school, maybe she can read it. Lextopia is a place where... <laughs> Daryl the bus driver asked you out. That's officially the time to stop taking the bus. Well, then I've been taking the bus for two months too long. You know what? We need a car. No, no, no. What we need is money for a car. Yes, money. Money, money, money. Where can we get some money? Oh, we could all get jobs. Oh, no. <laughs> but, but no, no, no. Seriously. How are we gonna get some money? Man, Arnest, didn't you pay like $20 for that bracelet? Yeah, I got it at a rave I went to with Ginger. And they charged you guys to get into the rave, right? Yeah, 20 bucks each. So that's 40 bucks a person. So if 100 people showed up, that's $4,000. Yo, that's how we get our car. We throw a rave. Yeah, but what if everybody isn't stupid enough to buy a bracelet? Girl, we are teenagers. If one person buys something, we all stupid enough to buy it, OK? I know we can hold it. My mom leases commercial real estate. I just grab one of the keys to the warehouses. I don't know, you guys are rave. If we get caught, we could get in some serious trouble. No, 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 look, if we get caught, then I'll take the rap. I'll just use my dad's no questions asked policy. Of course, if I'll be assuming the majority of the risks, I'll be assuming the majority of the profits. In other words, the car stand at my house. <laughs> we can save money if I DJ. Oh, so cool, cool. So our Nezzle DJ and Spirits, you and I will make some really cool cryptic invitations. You know what I think? We're the three smartest kids in Baltimore. Here we, here we, here we, here we, here we, here we. My check. <laughs> okay, okay, maybe the two smartest kids. <laughs> Brianna, this rave is the best idea you ever had, and you pulled it off in a week. You notice how P. Diddy got his start. <laughs> Girl, you might as well start calling me B. Diddy, and I'll call you. From my private dread, hey, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Ooh, but let's go before your father gets home. Your dad might be cool, but I'm not good at lying to parents. Hey, Spirit. Uh, uh I ain't done nothing. <laughs> bye, Daddy. We about to go to Spirit, all right? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Did you uh, clean the bathroom? Sure did. Bye-bye. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Before you disappear to Spirits for the weekend, did you do your science project? The potato is sputting as we speak. But that was freshman science project. A uh, different teacher. That's my girl. Uh -huh. whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, for God sakes, Mr. Washington, let us go. Hey, I, I was just trying to give you all some money for some pizza. Okay, thank you. Bye -bye. That's it. The father of tomorrow is a bachelor for tonight. Get changed, we going out. Let's do this. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, glow sticks. Wonder what they were doing with these. Maybe they were going to a <laughs> pretty colors. <laughs> you know, we haven't been clubbing in a long time, man. We're going to bounce to Whispers, Classics, Gotham, and the Clubhouse. Uh-huh. Then we're going to have a little after party at... Uh-huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Don't trust a big butt and a smile. Never have, never will. Man, I knew Brianna wasn't having a rave at her house. Did you say Brianna? Yeah, dude, it's supposed to be off the hook. Brianna's spirit and that blonde chick Arnez are throwing it. So, who are you, Brianna's brother? I'm her dad. Holla. <laughs> See, now those glow sticks are starting to make sense. I think our little Bree Bree is throwing a rave rave. I don't know, Brianna would tell me if she was throwing a rave. There's no way she's throwing a rave. <laughs> Sticks. The lost boys searching for the rave who don't trust a big butt and a smile. I mean, good God, man, how much more do you need? I think you're right, D. I think I've been used. I've been had. There is a rave. Yes. That lion, mm -hmm. manipulative, Come on now. underhanded. Preaching to the choir. Spirit! What? <laughs> yes, little buddy, Spirit's thrown a rave and has convinced my daughter into being part of it. 
that little hippie spawn to the navigator. <laughs> to be good because we be jamming. You better jam well give me back my daughter. Mr. Washington, are the girls all right? You tell me, aren't they here? Obviously not, because they're at a rave. You don't have any more than pineapple drinks, do you? <laughs> Stella, darling, you're taking too long. Your pool boy's waiting to get your groove on, rubber dub style. <laughs> Oh, uh, uh, hello, uh, Mrs. and I were having a night without the kids and minutes are ticking. Uh, come on, Mama. <laughs> this is Spirit's Daddy Cooper. Honey, you remember Brianna's father? Oh, right, the uh, flat app man. Uh, he ain't that good looking. <laughs> oh, either my son Arnez is in trouble or there's a party in the hallway. <laughs> either way, I'm prepared. <laughs> Evidently, our children are at a rave. A rave? No, Arnez is at the library with his tutor, Ginger. Oh, if they're not here and they're not in my house, then where are they? Man, there is no way the Raven's gonna be at Spirit's house. Oh, it's a pair of sons, right? Get that in Party's all warmed up. I guess I can stick my toe in it for a minute. <laughs> oh, Mr. Man, I got it. Okay, Mr. Man, I'm your host. My name is Bree. Right, right. Well, yo, I just came to chop it up with a few real folks, you know. Um, point me to the VIP section. Oh, we don't have one. You do now. Ah, oh. oh, that was dope. Huh. Yeah, you might want to crack a window. <laughs> Is it easy? Maybe I have to be like at a rave. Hey, give me that. I know these kids, all right? I will figure this thing out in no time. Let's just drive around till we find it. Arnez's father, that tramp he's shacking up with, lives two blocks from here. Not that I follow them or anything. Would anybody mind if I smoke? Yeah. You know, I never did smoke until after the divorce, and someday I'm gonna quit. Just black men I can't live without. I know what you mean, girlfriend. They're just like candy. Can't get enough of them. <laughs> Yeah, 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 she good, dog. Let her in, let her in, let her in. What's up, ma? What you doing? You want some food? Picking a blanket, shrimp? Uh, no, I'm cool, I'm cool, but this is nice. This is nice. Um, Mr. Man, it would be a big favor to meet your host if you would perform. Now, how could I say no to that? Let's see. Uh -uh. <laughs> I'm about to call security because VIP has an age limit. Security! But wait, I just finished my rave! You know, Cheryl, uh, the divorce must have been hard on Arnez, too. Yeah, yeah, it was. His father not being around probably explains the way Arnez is acting. I mean, this whole rave thing sounds like something he would plan. I hardly think the sis goes behind this one. Oh, oh, hold on now. Don't be so hard on yourself, Cooper, there, all right? I know you guys did the best you could with spirit, but it's not your fault she dresses like a palm reader. <laughs> I beg your pardon. I think we uh, all know that your daughter is the ring leader. Don't blame Brianna for your children's delinquency. You people don't know your kids. You're so strict, they're afraid of you. They don't even want to be your friend. 
That is exactly why I'm the one picking them up from parties and covering for them. You did what? I'm sorry, what? Uh-huh. You promised the kids you wouldn't tell their parents you picked them up from the party because of your no questions asked policy. Uh, don't worry, y'all. It'll be in his parenting book. <laughs> see, see that? No questions asked. A typical rookie mistake. Sounds like somebody's been listening to too much AM radio. <laughs> Flex, did you actually think you could build a relationship with your child on trust? <laughs> <laughs> Princess come to try to get me to perform again. Oh, no, no, no. We got a new hot artist in the house. Lil Nez is gonna rock the mic for us. <laughs> I looked in the sky, saw a bird with my eye. That's the truth. Ain't no lie. I'm serious. What? I'm going. No, no, no. This has got to stop. Damn. They need to start calling me a lifeguard, because I'm always saving the party. Somebody, anybody, everybody, scream! As I walk in the shadow of death, 16 men on the dead man's chest. Your host this team is the HOT, and I get you get splash, splash. Nobody go to the guard, say, son, you got a second or more to run for the dough. Before I blow back off the map contact, you didn't know stack could get down like that. Go on, come test rocket launcher, yes. Mr. Map hold the fort most maps. Kids is dead wrong, songs too long. Get swung on, can't we all get along? See my pinky, see my thumb, see that kid with the pump shotgun. Bust your gums, leave your whole shit numb. Mm, what's this? Mr. Big Mac, is that Mr. Man? I can't believe your kids can pull something off like this. Oh my god, this is one of my properties, and it's condemned. Over here. Only one way. Okay, I've seen enough. We gotta get your kids out of here. Hey, Foxy. Hey, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Ooh, look at my baby. Snatch her, snatch her by the hair. Oh, I'm on it. I'm about to get a fistful of brains. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. Man, your daughter's a juvenile delinquent. And she's my hero. <laughs> See my pink thing? She's my pink thing. <laughs> Look around, D. My daughter's not even here. She probably had the sense to go home and now she's sleeping like a baby. <laughs> hey, are y'all loving my bleeping party? Yeah! I'm gonna bleep and kill her. Did I get it? You know? You know? Watch out, watch out, watch out. Hey, hey, watch the touching, man. Hey, I'm not a bowling ball. Get your finger out of there. <laughs> Something right right here. <laughs> Come on, Daddy, say something. Daddy! The silence is killing me. What do you want me to say? I racked my brain all the way home, and I got nothing. I'm at a loss. So you're not gonna punish me? Oh, I'm gonna punish you. I'm gonna take away your CD player, then I'm gonna take away your driving permit. But is that gonna stop you from doing something like this again? Daddy, I said I was sorry. We were trying to make some money to get a car. You're always telling me to be resourceful. I was being resourceful. No, you were being deceitful. Do you realize what you did tonight? You invited hundreds of strangers to a condemned building. It was drugs and alcohol. But, Daddy, it was supposed to be a clean raid. You can't control what other people do, Brianna. I'm really disappointed in you. I, I thought I was raising you better than this. OK, Daddy, I made a mistake. Oh, you made lots of mistakes. You know what else gets me? Did you knew if you would have told me about this, I would have said no. But you went behind my back and did it anyway. And the funny thing is, I fought for you. 
You could be living with your mother. But no, I thought I was the best parent for you. You are, Daddy. I love being with you. Oh, of course. This is Flextopia. <laughs> you know, I love being with me, too. But I want to thank you, because you taught me a very valuable lesson tonight. I did? Yeah. I learned that I can be your father, but I can't be your friend. I said no, and that's the last time I'm going to tell you, no. I, I, I don't hear any back talk. Uh -uh, I don't hear any back talk. Why? Because I said so. I don't know. I'm, I'm not feeling it, man. I'm, 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 now, come on, Flex. I'm two seconds away from underage drinking and a teenage pregnancy. Now, come on, bro, from the top. All right, all right. All right, all right, all right. <clears throat> as long as you live under my roof, you're going to follow my rules. I work too hard to come home to this. Now, now go to your room. I hate you. I'm going to live with mommy. Oh, oh, oh. Is that cool, dog? Oh, that was beautiful, yeah. baby. <laughs> You're the type of father the country needs. Please yeah. believe it. Oh, yeah. 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 Last time on One on One. So, are you proposing to Natalie tonight? Nope. On Saturday night. I'm moving to Africa. You pray for something long enough, and it happens. <laughs> my mom finally gave me my dad's real name. Turns out she's been lying to me all these years. So how are you going to find her? Private investigator. <laughs> According to the court records, you've been married since June 18th, 1986. Oh, man, this has to be some kind of mistake. Will you marry me? Oh, my God! Not that many women would have said yes, knowing that Flex is still married. <laughs> is that Ernest and Ginger? Mr. Washington, your wife, Nicole, took a drive into the jungle with her lover, Jaden. Their empty Jeep was found overturned several miles from the main road. Daddy, is mommy okay? Day 30 in the search for Nicole Barnes. Good morning, I'm Craig Simpson, live from Baltimore, here with local TV personality, sports anchor Flex Washington and his daughter Brianna. Now, Mr. Washington, your wife... The ex 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 wife people. <laughs> I shook her long before she disappeared. I told you once before, my mommy's alive. I could feel it in my bones. This is every American family's worst nightmare. A tourist disappearing in a strange land, fighting for her life. A mother, an ex-wife. Oh, she's still his wife, because he never got divorced. And now I'm engaged to an almost bigamist. <laughs> Natalie, sorry, mommy. Lo siento. Lo siento. Uh, she's half Puerto Rican. Oh, yo tambien. Yo tambien. <laughs> Brianna, this must be really difficult for you. After 30 days, your mother could be... Uh-uh. Don't say it. Don't you even think it. My mama is not dead. I've seen those Tarzan movies. And if an unarmed white man in a diaper can survive in the jungle, you know my mama can. <laughs> oh, hope springs eternal in the heart of a naive child. Uh, uh, now, if we only have proof that she's still alive. And you are? Uh, friend and next-door neighbor Dwayne Odell Knox, and I unselfishly support Flex and Brianna as they wait for news of their beloved Nicole. Ah, oh, thanks, man. Yeah. And America, you can support the family, too. For only $19.99, you can get an official Fine Baby's Mama T-shirt <laughs> made entirely of recycled cotton. One size fits all, if you're all my size. <laughs> Thank you, Craig. Thank you, Dwayne. And there you have it, as a desperate family clings to hope and a stained T-shirt. The search for Nicole and Rita Barnes continues. Hey, everybody. What's going on? Mommy! It's alive! It's alive! Run for the hills! Sometimes in the slide, you can feel all by yourself. Check, one, two. But I have a partner, but I can't turn no one else. Uh -huh. So don't isolate yourself when there's nobody around. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. I'll be there. Okay.
<laughs> you were my every wish and every prayer, and I thought of you with every inch of my heart. Thank you, thank you. Now, where were you, and why did you call? <laughs> oh, sweetie, I didn't know you thought I was missing. See, after the accident, Jaden and I found a remote village near Victoria Falls. <laughs> no phones, no TV, no lights. Only our love and the monkeys to entertain us. You guys have kids already? <laughs> Very funny, Flex. Can your teeth get any bigger? <laughs> well, girl, we're all just glad you're alive. Now get rid of her. Say what? Uh, no, uh, no, no, no. Don't, don't take that the wrong way, Nicole. But you and I are still married. Let me talk to you for a minute, Flex. <laughs> if you don't want to marry a girl, just tell her. <laughs> Mommy, you and Daddy are still married, which actually means we're a real family. Oh, Ooh, if you excuse me, I'm about to go make fun of Spirit and her common law parents. <laughs> what is she talking about? Wow, you guys were freaking it up monkey style. <laughs> I found out that you never filed our divorce papers. Shame on you, Nicole. Flex, wait a minute. I signed those papers. I remember it like it was yesterday. Dwayne mailed them. Hey. I mailed those papers just like I did everything else for Nicole while Flex was gone. Picking up her groceries, picking up her dry cleaning, picking up the pieces of your broken home. Hmm, good times. <laughs> it, it's no big deal. All you have to do is refile before a judge and it's done. This is a minor speed bump on the highway to wedded bliss. Girl, wait till you marry him. This is only the first of many bad problems. That's a thing. Just 10 minutes ago, I thought you were dead. Oh, good times. Oh, day 30 in the search for your mom. You're my brave little soldier. Um, Josh, my mom is back. Oh, day one in the celebration of your mom's return. Josh, for the last time, just because Arnez was macking on Ginger at Burger Hut doesn't mean she wants you back. Look, I am perfectly happy just being Brianna's friend. How would you like a nice long hamstring massage? Dog. Sure. I guess. Oh, there's Arnez and Ginger. Look at them holding hands like Ben Affleck and Waylo. You know what? Your, your hamstrings are so tight, they need some Tiger Balm. And I'm going to go get some in Chinatown. All right. All right, Brianna. It's been a month. Your mom's back. Maybe now you're ready to hear the truth. Oh, no. I see the truth. All the jelly shaking truth. <laughs> Tell her, Ginger. Tell her what really happened between us. Arnaz, please don't make me. Ginger, you have to tell her the truth. About us sleeping together? Yes. <gasps> no! What? Arnaz, you slept with Ginger? No, no, no. I did not sleep with Ginger. Nazzy, it's out now. You don't have to lie. Arnaz, how could you? I didn't. She's lying, Brianna. No, I'm not. Remember, Arnaz? Me and you. <laughs> the couch? You know what? <laughs> I'm happy for you, too. It's the couch I'm sad for. Wait, Brianna. Arnaz, how could you? Do you know how long your mother had that couch on layaway? Well, we're here. Yeah. This is the big day. It's the biggest day of my life. We're, we're getting, getting a, a divorce. divorce. <laughs> it's like my birthday. No, no, no. Winning the lottery. The Super Bowl. <laughs> the fresh air on your face when your mama lets you out of the closet. <laughs> uh, good times. Good times. gentlemen. Judge Maybelline, what are you doing here? This is a divorce court. That's what I do daily, before or after Oprah. Check your local listings. Now sit down. It says here that you two want a divorce, and you are their witness. State your full legal names for the record, please. Uh, uh Dwayne Odell Knox. Nicole Aretha Barnes. Uh, Flexter Alexander Barnes. Flexter? <laughs> Yeah, you didn't think my parents would just name me Flex, did you? <laughs> uh, but Judge, you might know me as Flex Washington, WINX sports anchor, before and after Oprah. Check your local listings. <laughs> Cute. Today I know you as my 12 o'clock. <laughs> now it says that the two of you have been married for 17 years and you have a lovely daughter. I saw her on TV the other day with your Spanish-speaking nanny. Uh, Judge, that's my fiance, Natalie. She's half Puerto Rican. <laughs> And I'm half tired. <laughs> Mr. Knox, can you vouch for this couple? Yes, I can, Your Honor. Now, you say these two have been separated for 15 years? Uh. 
Uh, that is correct. In the last 15 years, have the two of them lived together as man and wife? Diana, we were never man and wife. We were man and beast. I hate you. <laughs> I want to choke the spit out of you. We'll do what you got to do. Mr. Washington, I want order in my courtroom. Now, Mr. Knox, to your knowledge, have the two of them slept together in the last 15 years? <laughs> Uh, could you repeat the question, Your Honor? Have they had sex, little man? Uh, oh, yes, Thanksgiving 2001. But, 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 but it, it was Thanksgiving, Your Honor. <laughs> You're supposed to give to those less fortunate than yourself. <laughs> Exhibit A, Your Honor. But can, can we just get a divorce now, please? Well, I could waste our time and keep asking you more questions, but it's obvious that the two of you don't get along. So I guess I could grant you a divorce. Yes! Yes, 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 yes. But not today. <laughs> State law requires you to go into marriage counseling. Oh, no, we don't need counseling. We need divorcing. Divorce. Well, you should have thought about that, Mr. Washington, before you basted your wife on Turkey Day. <laughs> Why are you doing this? This is just childish. Hey, Arnez hurt me, so I'ma hurt him back. Hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. Well, what is hell hath for bratty girls? <laughs> that. Yeah, these are full trunks, Brianna, but it's not even my birthday. Yeah, but it's your half birthday. See, you're 16 and a half. Wow. You did all that in your head? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, okay, Josh, couch. Oh, is that my cake? <laughs> you know, if you really want to upset Arnez, we should oil him up first, make him real shiny. Girl, he'll just go. <laughs> Come in. All right, Brianna. I know what you're doing. What? Getting lost in all this fineness? <laughs> wow. This is the best half birthday ever. Brianna, I was standing right outside the door. I know all about your little plan. Well, I knew that you were standing outside the door, and I did all this to expose you for the eavesdropper that you are. Well, well I, I knew that you knew that I was standing outside the door. And, but did you know that Ginger set me up and that Josh was in on it? <laughs> Stop it! Aren't you guys are ruining my half birthday? <laughs> Josh, is this true? Look, I didn't know what she was planning when she asked me to bring you to Burger Hut. She used me. Hug? No hug. You knew exactly what Ginger was up to at Burger Hut. Brianna, make him leave. You leave. You leave. No, 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 you leave. Well, put your shirt on, man. Get is out of here. How, how about both of y'all leave? I don't know who to believe anymore. Just go. Go. Hug. Hug. Look, therapy's a trap. Now, the best way to get through this is to get along. So this government-appointed quack will stamp our papers. You're right, you're right. So you let me do all the talking while you just sit there and wag your tail. Well, at least I'm not wearing somebody else's tail. Hey, hey, hey! Don't touch my hair. Oh, my bad. I leave that to the stable boy. <laughs> Hello. Flex. Nicole. Hi. I'm Dr. Medway. Easy way to remember. Med as in I'm a medical doctor. Way as in I will show you the way. <laughs> Medway. Um, um, uh, why don't you just tell me what happened between you two? Well, we loved, we lost. We have dinner reservations. Can you stand by divorce papers so we can be on our way? Okay, let's try something Dr. Phil stole from me. <laughs> I'd like you two to face each other eye to eye. Uh, that's gonna be hard, Doc. She's kind of cross-eyed. You know, she can watch a tennis match without moving her head. Yeah. That, is, that is not true, Dr. Metro. I saw that, Flex. Hush, Trigger. Okay, Mr. Cut from the Clippers. Oh, that's cold. Like your jump shot. Oh. 
I ain't say nothing about your no, cold feet. I ain't nobody oh, saying nothing about your feet. Hey, 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 look at you two. You're, you're acting like a couple of kids. My guess is whenever you two get together, you regress back to being married teenagers. That's why you don't get along. Your relationship never grew up. Analysis. <laughs> it's kind of a trip, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Nicole, I want you to share with Flex what you felt initiated the breakup of your marriage. Well, I, I never understood why Flex stopped loving me. Mm. What are you talking about, Nicole? I never stopped loving you, you know that. Flex, come on, I was left alone raising a baby by myself. And all I could think about was, what if you married me just because I was pregnant? Nicole, I married you because I loved you. The fact that you were pregnant just added shotguns to the ceremony. <laughs> oh, 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 you see, you see, everything is a joke with him, including our marriage. Nicole, I know you don't believe me. But even though I was on the road all the time, I was still serious about our marriage. And I missed you guys. I missed holidays, I missed birthdays. I even missed my baby's first words. Where's daddy? <laughs> you were my family. What's wrong with your face, girl? Oh, this has never happened before. I'm leaking. <laughs> um, Flex, you never told me you missed us. Why? I don't know, Nicole. I guess I just thought you knew. Hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Does this look like me? <laughs> Hi, I'm Dr. Medway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just lighting in the moon. It's getting a little heavy in here, if you know what I mean. <laughs> So, so what now, Dr. Metway? Well, obviously, you two have some unfinished business. Maybe you need some room to breathe, to think about it. Thought, Thought about, about it. it. <laughs> now, can you stamp our divorce paper so we can be on our way? Yeah, Here you go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Slow your roll, dog. <laughs> Maryland state law says you need a one-year legal separation before a divorce can be finalized. What? what? Sucks, huh? It's the Maryland way, not the med way. <laughs> A year? Uh, uh, it's not my fault. What do you want me to do? It's the law. Look, I'm too tall to go to jail. You know they take the big guys down first? I can't believe this. I came over here in this to celebrate my engagement with my single fiance, only to be standing here in my underwear in front of a married man. Stop staring. <laughs> Natalie, it takes about a year to plan a wedding anyway. Everything is going to be fine. I'm sorry. No, I'm the one who's sorry. I'm the one who fell in love with a guy who's still married and probably still not over his ex-wife. Oh, now you're talking crazy. <laughs> Natalie, wait, you, you can't leave like Flex, this. just let me go. I need my space. No, I know that. I just wanted to tell you that... that you don't have no clothes on. <laughs> ba, 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 boom, <laughs> Uh, your mother's like a foot fungus. The more you scratch, the more you itch. Why do you hate mommy so much? Sweetie, I don't hate her. In fact, she's my best friend. You just called her fungus, daddy. It's just that she just gets me so frustrated sometimes. I mean, she knows how to get to me. No matter how many times we get together, it's the same old dance. The cabbage patch? <laughs> You know, your mother and I got together when we were about your age. And we could not get enough of each other. Now we can't take too much of each other. <laughs> you know, that's what happens sometimes. You get too serious, too young. And your relationship never grows. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I think I do. Arnaz, can I talk to you? Look, Brianna, I tried talking to you, but you won't listen. Look, but I need you to listen. I don't want to be like foot fungus to you. <laughs> You're supposed to be turning me on? I hope not. I just, 
I don't want us to get so wrapped up in each other that we can't really be friends, and I need us to be friends. So, you don't want to be my girlfriend ever? No, but I want us to be friends forever. Friends who make out all the time? <laughs> How about friends who won't grow up fighting all the time? Look, Brianna, to be honest, I've been working really, really hard at this. And truthfully, I'm tired. <laughs> so, friends. Thank you, Arnest. But you remember that whenever you decide to change your mind, my little foot fungus. <laughs> Something for the grill. Uh, yeah. All right, Dwayne, I've got to know. Now it's just me and you, friend to idiot. Did you really mail out divorce papers? Man, I can't believe you don't trust your best friend. Man, yes, I mailed them. How many times do I have to tell you? I'm sorry, man. How do you want your steak? Girl. Mm. Those guest scenes are very. No, Dad, I got the taxes for the barbershop covered. I'm gonna file an extension. An extension? I ought to take an extension cord to your behind. <laughs> uh, Dad, you're, you're breaking up. Crumpling papers. Son, I was born cute, not crazy. Eunice, <laughs> cash out. We going home. <laughs> What are you doing with my loofah? Um, it, it, it's a science project for school. <laughs> I was hoping some of your leftover funk includes bacteria. <laughs> okay, I pride myself in being bacteria free. Now give me that. Get yourself a real project. It requires a little bit of effort. You wouldn't say that if you knew how much effort it took for me to pry that from your bathtub. <laughs> Besides, science projects are for scientists. I am an actress. Darius says I'm an artiste. Oh, more wisdom from that acting teacher, huh? Mm -hmm. Was it Darius who also told you to uh, get another ear piercing? Huh? Huh? I knew you was hiding something. I was born cute, not crazy. But Darius says that artists should always find new ways to express themselves. Okay, let me try expressing myself. Give me that earring. Okay. <laughs> oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. You're not going to school without eating breakfast? Oatmeal. Daddy, Darius says carbs stifle creativity. Oh, that's because he's a teacher and he's not making enough money to afford carbs. <laughs> Stop hating on Darius, Daddy. And anyway, instant oatmeal? I think as an artist, my character would eat, like, organic... Just eat it! <laughs> and scene. I gotta go. Wait a minute, it's freezing outside. Where's your goose down coat? Hello, this outfit with this face? I'm too cute for that coat. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. They said on the radio that it's gonna be a blizzard, so you're putting the coat on. And you're taking these cable chains over to Sporty so they can put them on for you. And here's 20 bucks. Why did I even get out of bed this morning? To study at the feet of the great non-acting actor, Darius. You know the saying, those who can't do, teach. No, no, no. Those who can't do are daddies. Sometimes in the slide, you can feel all right. When there's nobody around uh, oh yeah. I'll be there to think and then What a true love we are Maybe you can get to the Maybe one on one One on one uh, yeah. Can't nobody break this bond Maybe yeah. one on one Maybe one on one But just because Now we have a fire One on one yeah, yeah, yeah. One on one Flex! Flex! Look what I found hiding behind the plant in the hallway uh, those are Brianna's. No! I found them first. <laughs> nah, man, she ditched them there. And why does she insist on defying me? Lately, all we've been doing is button heads. <laughs> you said butt. <laughs> Not now, Dwayne. Do you know she went out and got another ear piercing? Thought she could hide it from me. Like I was born crazy, not cute. Man, you're starting to sound like your dad. I, mean, I don't sound anything like my dad. My dad sounds like this. Ow, man. <laughs> And she's been disobeying me. Lately, everything's about Darius. Darius says this. Darius says that. Who's Darius? 
Some 20-year-old ex-con still in school for the free lunch? They said drama teacher, man. Man, worse. Some state employee who's allowed to fill your daughter's head with some quasi-curriculum he learned in community college? He went to Juilliard. Oh, worse. Some spoiled, overeducated no, brother. No, shut up. You know what? You're right. I do sound like my dad. Ever since Brianna started taking this acting class, it's been nothing but drama between us. Yeah, I remember my first acting teacher. Met him at a nightclub. He had me audition for him in his basement. Uh, are you sure that was a legitimate acting teacher? Oh, yeah, man. I mean, he had a video camera and everything. Anyway, I'm gonna go down to her school with her cables and coat and let her know that I know she's defying me. Then maybe I can run into that Darius. Dog, he's just a teacher. Yeah, so was that guy videoing you in the basement. He said it was an educational film. <laughs> can tell me who Konstantin Stanislavski is? That is that foreign exchange student with the unibrow. <laughs> okay, check this out. Who's heard of James Dean or Shirley MacLaine, Marlon Brando? I, right. my man Ben Diesel? Yeah! Good, good, good. Not him. <laughs> but all the greats study Stanislavski, and he writes, everyone at every minute of his life, must feel something. There can be no true art without living. So what was dude really trying to say? Brianna. Well, Darius, I believe Stanislavski was trying to say that true art comes from feelings and feelings come from life. Yes, there you go. Ooh, girl, you got the squeeze. <laughs> Lucky, cause he is so fine. But do you think he's too old for us? Well, I don't even think of him that way. Darius is a mentor, a sage. True, he has the body of a Greek god in the face of an angel. But more importantly, he is deep in my understanding of the craft of acting. Yeah, yeah, okay, whatever. Oh, look, look, I'm picking a pencil. You are the best used car salesman ever, Dwayne. <laughs> and nothing will hold you back. Not your height, not your weight, not your dead tooth. <laughs> you will sell, 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 baby! <laughs> Hello? Oh, hey, Big Sal. Well, you're closing up early, <laughs> but Sal, baby, I can sell a snow plow in the desert. <laughs> yeah, I know there's no snow in the desert. That was an irony. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yes, you're right. I'm stupid. <laughs> Snow day! What the devil? They done caught the mad cow. I'm Darius Sherrell. I'm Fletch Washington, Brianna's father. We're just doing some warm-up exercises to loosen everyone up. Get the creative juices flowing. And can you turn the hose on this one here? You know you're welcome to stay and watch the class. I love when parents come and observe. Okay, kids, good job. Good commitment to the exercise. We're already. Uh, Brianna, he said your little acting exercise is over. I know, but I like to stay in character. So why are you here? Uh, because you dropped your coat and cables in the hallway behind the planter. Now, that's three days in a row, young lady, that you've blatantly ignored me after I've asked you to do something. Why? And scene! <laughs> that was so good, Daddy. <laughs> um, can we talk about this when we get home? Well, Darius has invited me to stay and observe the class. Right here, right where we rebel. <laughs> What's poppin', be more? It's your boy, Papa Time, here at WDCJ. What's up, Papa? Are you snowed in like I am? Uh-huh. We all are. The city's paralyzed, so if you're waiting for someone to come home, they ain't coming home. You mean I'm alone? <laughs> hey, Flex! Flex, is anybody home? Anybody? Hello? Hello? Hola? <laughs> you who? If there's anybody here, please say something! <laughs> oh, 
fault there's nobody here. I'm all alone. I don't do well alone. <laughs> this is since memory work. So think about the last time you were scared. Did the hairs raise up on the back of your neck? Did you get goosebumps? Did you want to scream? I want to scream. <laughs> That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. If you're supposed to be teaching an acting class, what happened to the classics? Hamlet, Death of a Salesman, Superfly. <laughs> Stop it, Daddy. Your attention, please. Due to the heavy snowfall, McKinley is canceling all after-school programs. Oh, that's it. We're out of here. Well, Dad, wait. Some of the students were going to stay after school and work on some monologues with Darius. Darius is keeping kids after school in the middle of a snowstorm? Oh, that is pretty irresponsible. I'm taking you home. I need to know you're safe while I'm at work. Statistically speaking, Mr. Washington, you're safer at school than in your own home. I've seen your home, Spirit. You are safer here. <laughs> But even still, you and Inez grab your things. You're coming with me. Cool. Before we get home, can we swing by the guitar store? And the library. Ooh, and McDonald's. I'm hungry. <laughs> oh, Inez, <laughs> I forgot. You got to stay here. Car's full. It's just three of you. It's full. <laughs> Flex Washington. Son, I've been thinking. We need to sell the barbershop as soon as possible so we can put off paying the taxes as long as possible. <laughs> but, Dad, the real estate guy says... You don't need to worry about what the real estate guy says. You need to worry about what I say. Slap yourself in the head for that. Attention, McKinley. The following is a snow update. All roads are closed until snowplows can make them accessible. Students and faculty, please report to the gym. All right, sweetie, I'm going to get to the truck. I'll be right back. But, Daddy, wait, I don't want to go. They just said all the roads are closed, and Darius says... Now, you don't need to worry about what Darius says. You need to worry about what I say. And I'm saying this worthless acting class isn't as important as your safety. Darius doesn't know everything. Now, get your things. And out into the storm of life he goes. <laughs> what does that mean? He'll be back. <laughs> Darius said you'd be back. Darius knows everything. Hey, Geraldine? Uh, yes, yeah, Flex. So I'm stuck down at my daughter's school. Who's gonna come get me? Nobody? Uh, you mean nobody wants to do the news without me? <laughs> they all wanna come down here and do it. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, oh, no, that's, that's not safe. Uh, uh, I think it's best that, that I stay here. Uh-huh. Okay, farewell. Bye-bye. <laughs> well, kids, <laughs> looks like I'm gonna stay here and uh, make sure you're safe. <laughs> oh, wonderful! I'm so glad that you're here and now you can see everything that I've been talking about. <laughs> and seen. Hey, y'all. I was thinking we could kill some time by doing some scene improvisations. You know, that's where we throw out characters and situations and the kids act them out. Oh, man, I know what scene improvisation is. Unlike some people, I'm in front of the camera. Oh, well, perhaps you'd like to join us. Uh, look, I'm not really in the mood, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, I don't want to knock what you do here, but these kids aren't learning anything in your class that they can use in the real world. I just want my daughter to have something to fall back on. I feel you, Mr. Washington. <sighs> Acting isn't for everyone. But then again, everyone isn't an actor. Oh, come on, Darius. Between you and me, anybody can act. Check this out. Scared flex. Oh, Lord! <laughs> and scene. Yo, that wasn't that bad. You really should come join us on this improv. Yeah, you know what? I wouldn't mind doing a scene with my daughter. Can it be a death scene? <laughs> Rihanna, you should take the stage with your father. Yeah, come on. Hello. Hey, it's snowing pretty bad out here. I just wanted to make sure you had your snow chains on. Uh, yeah, how far away are you, Pop? I don't know. But it sounds like I'm getting close. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, everybody. That was my dad checking on me because he cares about his child. Just like I care about my child. And scene. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> you will not go crazy, Dwayne. Being alone will not make you go crazy. And you will not start talking to yourself. You're talking to yourself. No, you're not. Stop it. No, you stop it. <laughs> this is proper overtime. Working past his normal shift because no one can get here. Not the overpaid drive time DJ or my program director. Hey, I can play what I want. Take this Baltimore, expand your musical minds with some vintage big band. You're both stranded in a lifeboat. And Brianna, you're starting to get really hungry. And go. I got a better idea. Brianna's a high-powered attorney trying to free her wrongfully imprisoned client, and I'm a secretary. And go. Bring me the file on Mr. Annie Blackman. <laughs> We're going to take his case to the Supreme Court of Appeals. Appeals? I'm sorry. You're using big words. I don't have a college degree. <laughs> You don't need a college degree as long as you're good at what you do. Just put the files on my desk. I'm sorry, Miss Lawyer. If only I had learned something more practical in school, I might be more useful. <laughs> so you're just gonna have to fire me and put me back on the welfare. Mr. Blackman is counting on us to free him. It would be nice if I could just have your support right now. It's kind of hard to support something that you don't believe in. Do you have a backup plan? What if your case doesn't work out the way you want it to? I'll never know until I try. I just wish you would believe in me as much as I do. You mean Mr. Blackman? He know who I mean. <laughs> ah! Have you seen Brianna? I've been looking all over for her and I can't find her. She's not in the girls' locker room. Not that I was either. <laughs> Pop, is that you? I can't believe you made it to the storm. Why did you come down to the school? I came here to save my son, whom I figured would be here trying to save his daughter. I was trying, but she didn't want to have anything to do with me. What'd you do this time? It's this acting thing, Pop. I can't believe she's throwing away her life. Oh, son, as a parent, you're always questioning your children's decisions. And why all of a sudden you have a problem with her acting? You sent her to an art school. <laughs> See? Right there, I am questioning your decision to question your daughter's decisions. It's the circle of life. <laughs> I just want her to keep her options open, but this, this Darius guy, her, her drama teacher, keeps feeding her this pipe dream. Oh, I see. Another man in her life. <laughs> Another adult she thinks is cooler than you are. Oh, uh, hold on now, I didn't say that. No, you didn't have to. Look, son, I remember when you first started to dominate on the court, it was Coach Wilson says this and Coach Wilson says that. Oh, I hated that Coach Wilson. <laughs> Why don't you like him? He was great. That's why I didn't like him. Because you liked him. I even thought you liked him more than me. I blamed him for putting those dreams of playing pro ball in your head so I could have somebody to blame for losing you. You worried about losing me, Pop? Doesn't every parent worry about losing a child? I don't, I don't want to lose Brianna, Dad. You're going to lose her for a little bit. But she'll come back, just like you did. Oh, hey, Grandpa. <laughs> what? Uh, oh, where's Grandma? Is she with you? No, I couldn't pull her out of that casino. I'm picking her up in a week. <laughs> Good news. The storm's lifted and the roads are being plowed. We can go home. Finally. All right, get your stuff. I'm going to drive you home. Oh, no, it's OK, Dad. We're going to stay after school and work on those monologues with Darius. So that's Darius, huh? Yeah. I don't like him either. Wayne, wake up! 
baby, are you catching a cold? <laughs> hey, Dwayne. Hey, Doug. Wake up, man. You all right? Oh, man. Oh, must have been dreaming. Hmm. We're falling in love? <laughs> I know, I can't stop saying it either. You can't? No. <laughs> I mean, I know you're about to say it, but then you didn't. I still want your thunder. <laughs> I am so sorry. I can't wait to tell mom. <laughs> she marched in Selma, you know. Ooh, baby, I can't believe it. You and I together starting our new life. Mm. Mm. You know, this is my first real home that I'm sharing with somebody that I could trust. <laughs> somebody who won't steal my shoes. <laughs> baby, you're not gonna try to steal my shoes, are you? No. <laughs> are they worth anything? <laughs> hey, Candy. I just ran three red lights and hit a car while parking just so I could talk to Dwayne. Oh, by the way, uh, somebody hit your car and took off. I've got three babies left. <laughs> Listen, dog, I'm in trouble. Holly told me she's in love with me. Now I've turned this brilliant, articulate woman into a lovesick schoolgirl. Why, God, was I born so beautiful? <laughs> what am I gonna do? Well, why don't you tell her that you lost your job and you're now just a shell of the man that you used to be? No, wait, that's what I have to do. Oh, you lost your job? Wow. But anyway, how do I make it clear to Holly that this whole romance is a fake? Well, why don't you just buy her some yellow roses? See, they symbolize friendship. Then just let her down easy. That's a great idea. Yeah. Thanks, man. Well, well, flex, flex, flex. What about my problem? Oh, yeah, your, your girlfriend's moving in. You lost your job? Hey, you make my problem seem very small. Sometimes if it's not, you can feel all by yourself. But I have a partner, but I can't try no one else. So don't isolate yourself when there's nobody around. I'll be there to think and then, why don't you let me go? Hopefully waving goodbye to spirit. No, I'm waving to all my adoring fans. Rihanna just got the lead in the McKinley High Spring play. Oh. Yes, so you know what that means, Daddy. This is my first lead role. My first step towards Broadway. Oh, her dreams come true. Oh. She's been doing that all sinking day. Don't be hating, spirit. My baby's gonna be a star. <laughs> so when's the big night? Right, Daddy. With your schedule, I'd be lucky if you show up at my wedding. Oh, oh Brianna, come on now. I wouldn't miss something that's important to you. Saturday is opening night and closing night, too. <laughs> yeah, they're redoing the gym floor, so the play has to be rehearsed and performed in four days. I am so glad we go to public school. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Did you say Saturday? Oh, that's the same day as the Broadcaster Awards. Now we have a problem. Oh, let me guess. Now you have the perfect excuse not to come. Oh, I'll be there. But is the McKinley Gym big enough for two stars? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I should have left when I had the chance. <laughs> All right, stay kosher. Oh, so this is the big plan for getting to New York? Panhandling? Hey, I play a song and the people pay what it's worth. As you can see, my songs are worth plenty. Yeah. Mm, let me see, about 200 calories. Boy, these are chocolate. <laughs> Don't worry. I won't forget you when I'm rich and famous. And on trial for something because I'm rich and famous. <laughs> my lunch, please. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know how you could laugh at him. I think all people's dreams should come true. Yeah, I do too, but why can't his dreams be in Baltimore? You of all people know how bad things are at his house. This is the saddest I've seen him. Excuse me, where did you get that shirt? I designed it. Oil rag by Spirit. Mm, fabulous. It's just the kind
kind of thing I'd like to carry in my boutique. Give me a call. <laughs> oh my God, Spirit, she wants to buy your oil rigs. Oh, we go, my friend. Wait. We go. That was the only serious injury in tonight's bench clearing brawl with the Milwaukee Bucks and the Timberwolves. <laughs> <laughs> You know, those brawling bucks and timber wolves would be as happy as we are if they read this book my friend Susan Watanabe wrote. Ebony Adam Ivory Eve, an interracial roadmap to paradise. Let's just hope that road doesn't lead through Alabama. <laughs> and that's it for today's Flex Files. I'm Flex Washington. Flat out. Holly Hanna! We shall overcome! <laughs> That's a wrap, people. Who knew Martin Luther King Jr.'s dream would include higher ratings? I love it. <laughs> Flex, I just want you to know that I've completely committed myself to this relationship. I am doing research. I'm reading books on dating single fathers. I even bought your daughter a hot comb. Oh, uh, right. I'll uh, have her buy you some mayonnaise and a Barry Manilow CD. <gasps> uh, Holly, I have to tell you something. It's really difficult for me. Oh, <gasps> Flex! Flowers! How uh, sweet! Well, you're a sweet girl. And, and I brought you yellow roses because yellow means friendship and... And love. Love, <laughs> too. Yeah, uh, Holly, honey, I need to talk to Flex, so why don't you go put those flowers in water before they wilt from all this jungle fever? <laughs> Alas, I must take my leave of you, my love. Adieu. <laughs> to end your fake romance with Holly? Holly is really starting to fall in love with me. She keeps calling me her chocolate kiss. Everybody knows I'm a chocolate king. The girl's nuts. <laughs> so she's a little ditzy. All smart women become idiotic when they fall in love. There are plenty of examples. Hillary Clinton? Enough said. Here's Mr. Bobank. I'm going right over your head, and I'm telling him I don't want any part of this. <clears throat> Excuse me, Mr. Bullbank. Geraldine had me pretend to be in love with Holly because she thought it would help us get syndicated. Now, I don't want any part of it because she's really starting to fall in love with me and I don't want to hurt her. Well, then, by all means, break it off right now. After all, look how fast you were going into syndication before this whole salt and pepper thing. Uh, actually, sir, they weren't going anywhere. I am well aware of my employee's shortcomings. Uh, actually, sir, I stopped drinking. <laughs> Look, I just don't know how long I can keep this ruse up. My suggestion is to just make it through the awards banquet. The syndicators are going to be there. And once we get them where we want them, you can break her heart. You know, Geraldine, how about if I take your ticket just to uh, supervise? No problem. I'll just wear that $1,000 cocktail dress to Sizzler. <laughs> Perfect. <sighs> all right, I'll let her fawn all over me and treat me like her boy toy until Saturday. Uh, success is killing me. <laughs> It's a veritable who's who of Baltimore broadcasting. Yeah, you're right, because I'm thinking, who's that? Who's that? And who's that? Hey, boyfriend Flex. <laughs> Ooh, those are the lips that I love so much. How about oh. a little chocolate oh. kiss, huh? Not the face, baby. That's how I make my money. Oh, maybe I should be more gentle, huh? I... Quit! <laughs> and I'm canceling my subscription to Essence. <laughs>
please come over and meet Matt Johnson from Queens World. Ooh, and tell him what a jerk you are? Sure. Hey, Matt! What? <laughs> Holly, I'm sorry for what I did. I never meant to hurt your feelings. Right, because you were gonna wait until after we got syndicated to hurt my feelings. That is so sweet of you. <laughs> Why don't you leave before I do something I regret? <laughs> Yeah. I'll just be over here. <laughs> oh, yeah, man, forget her, man. She want to be all up under me, hugging and kissing. And I said, back up, give me my space, or else I'm going with the fellas to Nantucket. <laughs> <laughs> or, or not, or not. Chuck E. Cheese token, a button, a wad of cash. A wad of cash? Spirit! How did you come up? I, I sold my t-shirts to a boutique. Wow, I don't know what to say. I would have to sing like a hundred songs for this kind of money. Wow, Spirit, thank you. I promise you, I will pay you back as soon as I can. Hey, don't worry about it. I just want to see your dreams come true. And it's been a long time since I've seen you smile. And you leaving town? Make me smile. <laughs> Hey, sweetie. How was your day? Baby, it was exhausting. I mean, between the commute... And the customers. Ooh, you have no idea. <laughs> Actually, I do. That's why I made you a drink, baby. Oh, thank mm -hmm. you. I, oh, oh, oh. Sit down, my protector. <laughs> well, all right, my protected. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You know, I was thinking about you today and how hard you've been working to take care of me. Oh, yeah. Ooh, I work hard for the money, so, ooh, I can take care of my honey. <laughs> Ow, baby. <laughs> and that's why I made your favorite lunch and brought it to Big Sam's for you today. <laughs> I did? Only there was no Big Sam. <laughs> what is going on? Baby, you know what? The Big Sam shut down about a week ago. Baby, baby I'm out of a job. Dwayne, how could you lie to me? I thought our relationship was based on honesty. Baby, I, I don't want you to think that you were moving in with a loser. Well, I thought I was moving in with somebody that I cared about and that I trusted, not a liar. Well, they just give me my award. My daughter's play is about to start, and I don't want to miss it. Yeah, you wouldn't want to break two hearts in one day. <laughs> hey, I thought you quit. Well, turns out so, the producers of this award show winter, are fans. Like they asked me to hand out your award. <laughs> <laughs> and now for Baltimore's Best Sports Anchor Award. <gasps> oh, that's me. Holly, don't do anything crazy. Oh, I wouldn't do anything crazy. But I can't speak for TV Holly. See, she's almost as dumb as in love Holly. I hope I don't make a boo-boo. Letters are confusing. Uh, Holly, don't go up there and do anything crazy. Oh, I'm going right, up there. Don't you go up there. You're not going up there. Please welcome Ms. Holly Spears. Yeah. Right to the fun, okay? <laughs> the nominees are Mike Green of WFAK, Jason Erler of WDET, and Flex Washington of WYNX. Yeah. <laughs> Scorn woman vendetta. Everyone in this room knows that Baltimore's best sports anchor is Mike Green. <laughs> <coughs> Congratulations, man. I apologize. Uh, <laughs> yeah, embarrassed talks, or you just fake embarrassed? Oh, there's only two fake things in this room. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe you would have won if you weren't so smug and egotistical and always wearing that cloak. <laughs> 
the Broadcasters Association does not base its decision on my smell. But just so I'm clear, am I putting too much on? Oh, no. Are you trying to blur my vision? Oh, okay, well, I'm just giving you an excuse for your makeup. <laughs> dry lips, huh? You can sand some wood with those. Oh, well, maybe I should have been kissing your skin because a woman your age needs to moisturize daily. <laughs> I'm out of here. I'm going to watch my daughter's play. Don't you walk away from me. I'm walking. I am walking. I don't oh, care what Flex, you Flex, Holly. What? You got me. I love it. This is the show I want. It's got sex. It's got violence. Are they in love or aren't they? It's it's Ike and Tina. It's it's Pam and Tommy Lee. It's it's Pam and Ike. <laughs> I love this. Let's talk money. Listen, buddy, I am done with Flex and his stupid files. What do you say to mid six figures? I don't care. Mid, mid six, six figures. figures? <laughs> I'm not one to stutter. Shall we go have a drink and finalize the particulars? Uh, can we do this another time? I really have to get to my daughter's play. Uh, I'm on a plane tonight. I'd like to take care of this right <laughs> <Yeah>. now. <laughs> Excuse us a second, Matt. <laughs> what? What? Flex, what are you doing? We can close this deal right now. You don't understand. Me being at this play is important to my daughter, and I can't disappoint her again. Wouldn't she be disappointed if she found out that you blew an opportunity that could set her up for life? Isn't this why we've been putting up with each other? You can't just throw it all away now, Flex. Let's go Nash. <gasps> Let me call my daughter. <laughs> We're sorry, but the voicemail box you've reached is full. Please try again later. There's another task that I must finish first. I must try to educate myself. You're not the man to help me with that. I must do it alone. That's why I'm leaving you. I must stand on my own feet if I'm going to get to know myself in the world outside. great friend spirit hey you're just lucky you're my only friend <laughs> girl do you know that my dad didn't even show up parents they're like broken clocks they never know what time it is <laughs> but he missed a great performance because you were amazing Come here. yeah well at least i know now what's more important to him Arnaz, you're here think i was gonna miss this you were so great and yet, no flowers. <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna go to Sardi's and wait for the reviews. Yeah, nobody gets me. <laughs> so, how about you take the star out for an opening night, closing night pizza? I can't. I'm leaving for New York tonight. I'll see you later, okay? Wait. Arnez. Look, I'm, I'm sorry that I've been so awful. It's just, it's hard for me to express myself. You know, just say what's on your mind. I don't want you to go. I don't have to. Look, why don't you come to New York with me? All right, we can get a tiny overpriced apartment in Greenwich Village. We can go to school together. And then on the weekends, we can watch all the people going to see the plays on Broadway. <laughs> Arnaz, I can't go to New York. Why not? You keep saying that your dad cares more about his dreams than he does yours. When it comes to our parents, I'm starting to realize it's more about them. Let's make it about us. Brianna, I'm home. Baby, I'm sorry I missed your play, but I brought you some pink flowers that mean, I'm sorry I missed your play. <laughs> 
I bet you were great. Brianna? You home? Dear Dad, I'm catching a train to New York to follow my dreams. You of all people should know how important that is. Don't worry, Spirit's with me. She wants to start her own clothing line. She says she's going to set this Shmata business on fire. Spirit's right. <laughs> Nobody gets her. By the way, I was good tonight. I really nailed that whole depression thing. You would have been proud. I love you. Brianna. P.S. I hope you won tonight.